Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to apply vinyl decals and stickers to a vehicle. In the first video I did on the topic of applying decals, I demonstrated this method using abstract examples. So I thought I'd go over this topic once again. However, this time I'll demonstrate it with a more practical example. Now, this method is only valid if the end goal is to simply get a still image render or a quick animation out of this. This method is obviously not the way to go about doing things if your end goal is to create a production ready asset. I personally employ this method when I'm mocking up a design in 3D and need to slap labels of decals on quickly because as a concept designer, I do not have the luxury to spend hours on properly UV unwrapping my models. Coming up with quick solutions is part of a designer's job. So I hope that provides some clarity and with that out of the way, let's get on with this video. All right, so I'm going to start off by creating an images plane, but you're not going to find this option by default. So you're going to have to head over to your preferences and search for import export images as planes. And when you find it, ensure you enable this. And once you do this, you'll be able to now find that option when you try to create an images plane. So go ahead and import your decal into Blender. So once I've imported my image as a plane, I'm just going to scale that up and increase the value to about 50. And once I do so, I'm just going to bring it in front on the X axis. Once I do that, I'm just going to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees and switch to the front view. And I'm going to position the decal So once I've positioned it and I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into edit mode and I'm going to cut a loop into the plane and then I'm going to bevel that loop. And I'm going to repeat the same process vertically by cutting a loop and then beveling it. Once I do that, I'm just going to switch to face mode, select the face in the middle, invert it, and then get rid of the faces that I don't need. Now, one thing to note is that when you import an image as plane into Blender, by default, the blend mode is going to be set to opaque. So ensure you head on over to your material context and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend. Now, you might not be able to find this option. And the reason for that is your render engine may be set to cycles. So just go ahead and set the render engine to EV and you should be able to find that option. So now I'm just going to go ahead and subdivide my decal here and I'm going to change the algorithm from Catmull clock to simple. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add a shrink wrap modifier and I'm going to select the door of the car as our target mesh and I'm going to change the mode to project. And once I do that, I'll uncheck positive and check negative and then I shall increase the offset value till we get a decent result. So once the plane is projected, I'm going to go ahead and select the plane and shade smooth. After that, I'm going to head on over to the node editor and I'm going to create a principal BSDF. And I'm going to get rid of that diffuse BSDF and connect the principal BSDF to the shader. So I'm just going to tweak the roughness here. I don't want the decal to look like it's made out of a matte material. So I'm just going to bring down the roughness so that that decal is a little bit glossy. I'm not going to fidget with the material too much here. Just looking for something that gives me a half decent result. So that is how you add a vinyl decal or a sticker in Blender. Now I'm going to go over one last example. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in another decal into Blender. Then I'm going to go ahead and locate my decal and I'm going to bring that back into Blender. Now I'm just going to move that up in the Z axis and then scale that and increase the scale value to 50. Now, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the top view and I'm going to rotate our decal by negative 90 degrees. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and try to position that over the hood. And then I'm going to scale it down so that it fits properly onto that hood. Now I'm going to drag that back a little bit on the X axis. And I'm going to tweak the scale ever so slightly. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to switch to the front view and I'm going to bring that plane down. I'm also going to go ahead and rotate this slightly on the Y axis so that the plane and the hood of the car are actually parallel to each other. And the reason I'm doing this is to facilitate a better projection when I actually use the shrink wrap modifier. So now I'm going to go ahead and subdivide the mesh. I'm going to change the subdivision algorithm from cap mill clock to simple. And then I'm going to create a shrink wrap modifier and change the mode from nearest surface point to project and then the direction from positive to negative. And then I'm going to tweak the offset value till I get something that looks decent. And I'm also going to go ahead and shade smooth. So I'm continuing to play with the offset value, looking at it from different angles just to make sure that it looks all right. Now you need to ensure that the boundaries of this plane actually don't cross over the mesh. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to get some really weird results. So I'm just going to slide that down. And you can see that we start to get some really wacky results when the boundary of that plane actually meets the edge of the hood. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you're applying these decals. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch to the render preview and I'm going to create a light so that we can examine these decals a little closer. So now we can see that this decal is sitting flush to the surface of the hood. There's just a little bit of an issue and the reason for that is because that's a complex surface and this method sort of starts to break down there. But if we look at the decal on the door, that looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and increase the strength of the light so that we can better see the decals that we have here. And you can see that the decal on the door is flush to the surface. And from a distance, the decal on the hood is acceptable. Uh, now I'm going to switch to cycles and examine this. So I got a question asking me if this method actually works with cycles and it does, but there is a limitation. So we can immediately see that the decal is actually not flush to the surface and it's actually hovering about and it's casting a shadow upon the surface that it's supposed to actually be sitting on. So the way we can actually fix this is by increasing the number of subdivisions and by tweaking the offset value. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the decal and increase the number of subdivisions. So I'm going to give it a value of four. And then I'm going to tweak the offset value. And so I'm just going to type in a couple of values and see what works best for me. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to switch back to the render view. And we can now see that the decal is sitting flush to the surface of that car door. But this method does break down when we are dealing with more complex surfaces. And you'll see that with the decal on the hood, it doesn't sit perfectly on the surface. And that's pretty much where this technique starts to break down. So this technique works well with planar and simple curved surfaces, but we do end up running into issues when we are trying to slap this onto far more complex surfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and now render this out in both EV and cycles and let's compare.
All right, so I went ahead and rendered these out, and this one was done with EV. So I'm just going to zoom in on these decals. So you can see that it works pretty well with EV. It's all sitting flush to the surface. The one on the hood is not working out that well, but you can get away with it when you're kind of rendering these things from a distance. Now let's take a look at the renderer that we got from Cycles. So again, the one on the door looks pretty good. It's sitting flush to the surface, whereas things start to break down slightly when dealing with more complex surfaces. So we can see that that decal is actually casting a shadow onto the hood, and that's not what we want. So for far more complex surfaces, this method is not going to work out. So this is how you add vinyl decals and stickers in Blender. I hope this has given you some insight on what you can do with this technique and what its limitations are. So that's it for this video. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. And if you'd like to support the creation of content on this channel, you can do so by purchasing my tutorials and resources from my Gumroad store, the link to which is in the description of this video. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.